What's up guys, Navigaman here, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be showing off all of the Sonic merch that I've collected in 2020. Now, I know that 2020 has been that great, mainly because of the pandemic, but it has been pretty good for me because, like, I've managed to collect a lot of Sonic merch, and I'm pretty proud of that. I mostly collect Sonic plushes, not, like, figures, but I do have some figures, but I just don't, like, collect that much because... I'm more into plushies, not figures. But anyways, yeah. Let's just get started because it's a lot. So yeah, let's bring them out. Alright, we're going to start with figures because that's the least amount of Sonic merch that I collect. Alright, so starting off, we have the 2.5 inch Sonic figure released by Jack Specific. Up next is the 8 inch Sonic figure also released by Jack Specific. And it also comes with a spring that has, a, has like a spring mechanism in there. So you can actually jump. Whoop! Up next we have the Toy Island Sonic figure. And yeah, as you can see, it's not mint. You can see it's got a ton of like scratch marks like it's been played with. Um, as you can see, the, the shoes are not mint. You can see it's like the paint is coming off. It's like getting scratched up. Look at that. Wow, this guy had some love and has seen better days. Next is the classic Sonic Funko Pop uh, for the 30th anniversary of Sonic. Comes with classic Sonic and Silver the Hedgehog. Another one released by Funko is, well, Silver the Hedgehog because he's from the same set. I had to get Silver too because, you know, who doesn't love Silver? Alright, so that's all the figures. Uh, I do have some other Sonic figures, but we're only going through the figures that I collected from 2020. Alright, so now we're going to be moving on with plushies, because that's the most that I collect. We're going to start off with the small ones. Alright, so first off, here is the Sonic Underground plush, released for Denny's as a promotion. Here's another one that I got really recently. Um, it, it's uh, in more better condition, even though the... Yeah, he still has a tag, but like, it, it's faded because I just washed it. So yeah, it actually still has a necklace, which is pretty cool because my other one didn't have the necklace. So yeah, I got I actually got a Sonic plush that actually has a necklace. Here is the Sonic Underground plush, a Sonic Underground plush. I meant the Sonic Underground Knuckles plush. Excuse me. Uh, this was released from the same set, at least for Denny's. I only have one Knuckles. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll get another one, but I'll think about it. Next up is this guy, which is actually a. Uh, Sort of a custom, because, uh, yeah, <laughs> the shoes. I made them into soap shoes, because I was bored, and, like, I thought it would be pretty cool if I made them into soap shoes, and I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, but, yeah, besides the shoes, uh, this is just, uh, a keychain Sonic plush that I got a while back. Uh, I don't use them that much, but, like, I like to make customs sometimes with them, if I wanted to. Next up is this Namco Sonic plush. I think it was the first one, the first Sonic plush that I got. I can't remember if that's actually true, but yeah, it's cool to have them. And uh, yeah, as you know, it's from the arms. Uh, I tried to make it bendy, but like that pretty much failed. Uh, I tried using pipe cleaners to make it bend, but that didn't go so well. Next plush that is my probably one of my favorite ones is this one. Well, it's not one of my favorites, but it's one of my... Uh, childhood, one of my best childhood plushies I've ever owned is the Kelly Toy Sonic plush. Uh, this one stands about 10 inches. Uh, it's pretty small compared to the, uh, one of the other ones that I have that I'll show you in a second. Uh, but yeah, this one was, was probably one of the best Sonic plushes I ever owned when I didn't really collect that many Sonic plushes. So yeah, it's cool to have this guy. Uh, I actually did have another one that was probably um, almost exactly the same size as this one, but I think it was a little taller. I might have been 15 inches, but I don't know, I forgot, but I ended up giving it away because, you know, you know how kids are, they just like to give away toys and give away toys that are probably valuable, and yeah, that was me. So I never saw him again until now, where I got him very recently, and I will never give him away because he's my most... Uh, most loved childhood toy. Next up is the Jazzwear Sonic plush. I got this guy very recently. Uh, I just got him. I don't know why. I feel like I would have collected. I will. I feel like I would have gotten him before, but I didn't. I don't know why. I'm just. I don't know. I'm just a weirdo. 
Next one that's from the same set is, of course, the Jazzware Shadow the Hedgehog plush. Because, you know, I don't collect enough plushies of this guy. As you can see, uh, it's very nice. Um, yeah. Uh, it's very nice. And also, he has he has beans in his stomach. Uh, I think that's just for people to throw him. I don't know. Next one from Toy Network. It, oh, excuse me. <laughs> um, is from... Uh, this is Toy Network. This is a 8-inch Sonic plush. And I like to call him Spin Dash Pro. For obvious reasons. Because, you know... This is a Spin Dash Pro style plush. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, a very nice plush, and I'm very happy to have him, because uh, I used to watch a lot of Spin Dash Pro, because, yeah, he was my favorite Sonic plush uh, channel to watch, and it's so good to have a plush of him. Next one from the same set is Tails, because what's a Sonic without Tails? Next one is Toy Network Knuckles, and yeah, this is the only Toy Network Knuckles plush that I own currently. When I ordered these, they didn't have, they didn't have their tags, unfortunately, but... I don't really mind. Alright, now we're moving to the Sonic movie. Here is Baby Sonic. As you can see, this is based off of the old design of Baby Sonic, not the new design. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty nice plush. Um, yeah, there's nothing else I can really say about this, because, uh, yeah, it's Baby Sonic. I mean, what else, what else are you supposed to say about that? Uh, here's a tag. It still has a tag. And it's just talking about the materials... Right there, where it's manufactured. Here's the materials, I'm stupid. But yeah, this is Baby Sonic. Next up is the Toy Factory Sonic Movie Plush. And yeah, this is, a, this is a small version of the Toy Factory Sonic Plush. I have the bigger one, I'll show you in a second. But uh, one neat feature about this plush that I customized is he has actual socks that I used with a real sock. Because I feel like the, the shoes that he had before weren't that great, so I decided to... Make him shoot, make him socks. And, uh, he also has shoes that I made. So we can actually put them on. Next up is the 14-inch Sonic Movie plush. I also have another one. I just have them because, like, yeah, I got them in a bundle. As you see, he's wearing a medal. Same thing. Although, what's very odd when I got this is the leg here. Now, as you can, now if you look closely, there's, like, thread and I actually did that myself because, um, look how the leg is positioned. It's just like, this leg is like, it's like curved like that. Why is it curved like that? I don't know. Next up is the Jack Specific Talking Sonic Movie Plush. And I really like this guy. I like it because it can actually talk, which is pretty cool. And also, it actually looks like Sonic from the actual movie, which is pretty neat. I don't need any... <laughs> I'm just gonna, I just gotta pull it out. There you go. As you can see, it uh, has the sun up. Oh, there you go. I shake it. It makes noises, which is pretty cool. And if you press his hand, I'm Sonic. So, do you guys want to watch a movie or what? He says some phrases from the movie. All right, high five. So that's actually pretty cool. I also have another talking Sonic movie plush, but it's still in the box, and I'm not gonna take it out of the box because. Uh, I like to keep the box and the plush inside because, like, I'm a collector and I like to sometimes keep stuff in the box because I think it looks better in the box. And, yeah. I don't know if this plush counts. It's more like a custom, but, uh, Sonic.exe. Yeah, I just uh, got a bootleg Sonic plush that I got a while back. And, uh, yeah, I just made it into Sonic.exe. Next one is this, uh, Kalatoy. Uh, Kalatoy, I think it's, I think it's Kalatoy. Uh, this is a, this is actually a talking Kalatoy Sonic plush. And, uh, as you can see, he's, uh, wearing a jacket right now, because I, I put that on him. He actually talks. He actually talks. Listen. The voice is kind of corrupted. Uh, but yeah. It's still a really nice plush, though. Next is this Toy Factory Classic Sonic movie plush that you would find in, uh, claw machines. I got this one from a claw machine. And uh, it was a really nice plush. Next up is this big boy. It's the 18-inch Kelly Toy Sonic plush. When I first got up, I instantly fell in love with this guy because I really love him. And I was supposed to actually hopefully get the plush that I gave away, which was the small Kelly Toy plush. The small Kelly Toy Sonic plush, but I ended up with this guy, which is probably ten times better.
Next up is the Kelly Toy Tails Blush, because, again, what's a Sonic without tails? As you can see, he's 18 inches, and also, uh, when I bought this, I had holes everywhere. Like, you can see where I had to sew it. It had a hole on the head, on the ears, I think even on the, yeah, even on the tail, as you can see right there. And it also had holes right here. Look how, just look how the leg is, like, lean like that. Ugh. That does not look normal. But yeah, I had to sew holes right here, here, and I think like, yeah, two holes right there. Poor tails. Next up is Shadow the Hedgehog. Yes, the ultimate life form. I don't collect that many shadow plushes. I think I only have two actually. But uh, anyways, yeah, I got Shadow. This guy looks pretty cool. Again, he's 18 inches. Uh, I'll pr I'm probably going to stick with 18 in collecting the 18-inch plushies. Next up is the Backpack Sonic the Hedgehog plush. And I really like this guy. Uh, he's not he's not that big. Or he's, ac he's actually pretty big. Uh, but yeah. I had, I've tried to get this guy in the past, but I just couldn't because it was like $20. And at the time, I didn't have the money to get him. But look at me now. I got it. Alright, moving to the GE collection. Here is Modern Sonic. Uh, this is the plush that is very average for all YouTubers who are Sonic plush collectors. So, yeah, this is a very nice plush, and I really like it. Next up is Classic Sonic that has a, a pointing finger that was sold like this, but I cut it off because that's what everyone does. Next up is Classic Knuckles, who doesn't have a hanger, unfortunately. Next up is Classic Tails, who, again, who doesn't have a hanger, unfortunately. Next up is Sha Shadow Silver the Hedgehog. Excuse me, oh my god. This is actually a, uh, this is actually a bootleg, because the eyes are embroidered. They're not actually, like, they're not this, like, plasticky material that G the Great Eastern Entertainment always does with their plushies. But, yeah, it's still... It's still a very nice plush, and it's also the only Silver the Hedgehog plush that I own currently. Duh! Next stop is Sonic the Werehog. Now look at this guy. This is pretty cool. Uh, this is actually a bootleg as well, unfortunately. But this is actually a pretty, co this is actually a pretty cool plush for a bootleg. The way you can tell it's actually a bootleg is the spikes. They're not triangles. They just use this like, this like three D, this like realistic uh spike angle which actually looks i think it looks better than the ge in my opinion but uh yeah this guy actually has the hanger and i uh, i have the tag i haven't thrown away even though i actually cut it off of him but there's a tag uh it has that chinese uh tag but yeah either way it's still a nice plush and the last one from ge that i got really recently is the infinite plush now look at this guy wow this guy looks sick doesn't he I like the hair. I really like the hair. How it just like, how it just like, it's like floating like that. I really like that. Uh, this is a very nice plush, and I think my only complaint is the feet are a little too small compared to his legs. I think if maybe if they were a little bigger, then it would be a little, a little better. But uh, either way, it's very nice, and I really like how he has a black hanger instead of a yellow hanger. I think it just sticks to his uh, black theme. Alright, we're almost done. We just got three more plushies. Alright. First off, we have another Toy Network plush, but it's actually 12 inches. And this guy, uh, I really like this guy when I first bought him. And I still love him. Uh, the thing that I had to do, that I had to modify, was the buckles. Because, uh, yeah, the buckles before were pretty weak. So I had to modify his shoes, and I had to add a gold, uh, this... Uh, I had to add like a gold square to make the buckle and I think it turned out pretty well Just slap some glue on there and then yeah, I think it turned out pretty well All right now moving on to the two plushes that I got pretty recently now here is Another toy network sonic plush that that is 12 inches. Uh, this guy is very worn as you can see his uh, his skin is uh, His like skin is just like it's not as tan as the last one. It's just like, it's very worn. Uh, but he does have the tag though, so that's a, there's a, he gets a point for that, I guess. 
Also, the eyes, I had to paint the eyes because, like, his eyes were, like, scratched. That's the thing I don't like that Toy Network does is that they just add, like, this plasticky eye and it just, like, ruins... It gets scratched over time and I think that's really annoying. I think that's, like, my... The thing that I really don't like about plastic eyes. And finally, the last blush. Here is the Toy Network Son Sonic Amy blush. Excuse me. Oh man, I'm not feeling too well today. But anyways, yeah, here is the Toy Network Amy Rose blush. And this is actually the first Amy Rose blush that I have. So I'm very happy to have it. But, you know, Toy Network, <laughs> it's not a very good start. But, um, yeah, I'll probably get a G an actual GE Amy Rose plush because that one looks a little better than this one but uh, this one's a good start I guess also again I had to paint the eyes because uh, yeah it was scratched like Sonic but uh, yeah as you can see um, it's a very nice plush uh, it has the tag as well it says Toy Network uh, the thing that's missing though is the red band the red headband right here or it's not headband if that's what it's called I'm trying to call it that it's missing the headband I'm guessing the owner might have given it to uh, he or she's children, and they play within. Eventually, it just came off. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, that is the last Sonic plush. Let me just get them all in order, and then I'll show you all of them in order. Boom! All right. So here is all of the Sonic plush and figures, of course. So yeah, here is a close, uh, pretty good view of all of the Sonic merch that I've collected uh, throughout 2020, and I think it's actually a pretty, a very good start. Because uh, yeah, 2020 was the year where I wanted to collect Sonic merch, but uh, yeah, at the time I didn't have the money to, you know, collect Sonic toys. But yeah, now I do. So yeah, I can collect uh, Sonic plushies that I think are interesting. So yeah, this is uh, all of the Sonic plushies and, I guess, figures, because, yeah, I collected those as well. But I think you guys are more fascinated by the plushies, because, yeah, I have a lot more than figures, because, again, I don't collect that many Sonic figures than I do with plushies, because, like, just look at the vast amounts of Sonic plushies on my bed. It, like, takes up my whole bed. That's crazy. What's up, guys? Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to smash a like on this video. I'd really appreciate that. And also, please subscribe because I know I haven't posted or I don't post that often. But, uh, yeah, just... Uh, just keep some hopes up for just upcoming stuff that I might, if I have the time to, I can actually, like, do some cool stuff. Just give me some suggestions. Just give me some video suggestions. Uh, excuse me. Just give me some video suggestions, and I might be able to do it, because that's mostly the reason why I haven't uploaded, because I have no idea what to upload. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, my name is Gamer. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.